Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another data pack overview, this time on Shulker Beacon. A data pack that simply adds the ability for you to have a beacon that is portable, and what you need to do is obviously place it in the world after crafting it, feed it, and then you can switch between different abilities. It doesn't have every beacon power given to you, but uh, it does have a few. So, we'll just make a Shulker Beacon. As if it's for the first time. And then put a beacon there and a nether star. So you will need obviously two nether stars with this. Place it there, and it'll convert to the one that you can place. Once you've done that, which will just go about more than ten blocks than the other, because obviously these can't work any more than um, if there's ten blocks, if they're in a ten block enough space, then yeah, they won't work. Because they're too close. Uh, otherwise, if you just hit it, you can see it's hungry. And if you right click the display there, if I can get that, sorry, hit the display on me, then it'll consume 16 chorus fruits. If you hit it again, it'll have its ability activated. So we're getting haste 2 currently. And there's three different features there's haste, I'm pretty sure it's haste 1, haste 2, and then there's also the jump boost and strength ones as well. Now, to do this, obviously you want it in an on state, so you want to open it and have crouch and left click on the shulker beacon to access an interactive menu. And then from there, the shulker will become white and you have access to three options. I haven't been able to get this working because I'm just not really sure what I'm doing, uh, but we'll at least try to attempt this. So we'll feed it and we're good to go. So at least texture wise I haven't got it working. So we'll just do that. There we go. I needed the texture pack, that's probably why. And this is back, so now it makes sense. So we'll just do that. We can swap between each of these. Okay. And now it's hungry again, because it's only supposed to last about three minutes, I think. So we'll just hit there. Hit the crouch. And I've got haste two. Speed 2, Resistance 2, and I'm just swapping between these just to show what's possible. Jump Boost 2, Strength 2, and Haste 2 again. And if you want to, I think, activate it and keep it consistent with that rather than selecting it, then it'll do that. Um, otherwise, I think there's a way to increase the time, not just by feeding them as well, if I happen to pull off and I can't remember. They can store 10 times the chorus fruit for a total of 10 minutes of operation. It might have been maybe I fed them quite a bit more, that's maybe why. So we'll just try doing that. There we go, so you can increase the amount of time that they actually last. If you just happen to hit them in their hungry state. see that it's now going to activate for 10 minutes by constantly giving us that. If we want to access the menu again to change it, we can do that. Sneak to get out of it, and we're good to go. So sneak to left and left click to select the ability you want. So you can left click to exit, and we're good to go. Hitting them again puts them in the deactivated state. So you can feed them, and if you activate them again, you're good to go. That's pretty much how it works. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Otherwise, there is obviously things to consider, like the texture pack. It is in beta, so if certain things will happen. There's also a French version as well. 